What is going on LEGO Investors? So today we're going to talk about a set that is kind of unique. We're getting two sets from the past that are fairly decent. So I want to know whether you think this Star Wars set is going to be great in retirement or if you think it's going to be a bad investment. Do you think that these two sets combined together make it even stronger or do you think it's just going to end up an epic failure? So I'll give my thoughts and opinions. I would absolutely love to hear yours. Please comment down below. It will definitely help the channel. It will help the community. But let's dive into it. Today we're talking about the Imperial Dropship versus the Rebel Scout Speeder. This set is coming out October 1st, 2024. It's item number 40755. It's 383 pieces. You get six minifigures and one exclusive exclusive droid so right out the gate 39.99 honestly it's not a bad price i'm kind of surprised that they made it 39.99 but the problem with this is anything really 39.99 or below or kind of even maybe $60 or below is ending up being very bad investments because they're just so mass produced they sit on the shelf and we're kind of seeing it over and over again where these small cheap sets just do not sell and they're really not great for investing I think if they were just done differently I don't know I don't want to say I wish they were more expensive because Lego is extremely greedy on that front but I really wish there were just maybe cuts in production I think Lego really has to adjust their production levels to kind of keep things from sitting on the shelf and not selling. And I truly believe that one day LEGO is going to start adjusting their production levels because they're mass producing, they're flooding the market. And in the end, I think it really hurts them. And investors would typically scoop up all these sets. This is a set that is very strong. But with the production, it's really, really a bad investment. So I do think LEGO will adjust those in the future. But we've got a long time before they, co they come to that realization. So it's really great with this set is we get the exclusive droid. Usually we get a minifigure. In this set, I honestly wish we got an exclusive minifigure instead of a droid. I'm not a big fan of droids, although droids can be big money. I wish this was an exclusive minifigure. It would have really helped this set out. So we, we already know about Stormtroopers. Let's take a look at some fleet troopers to see kind of the cost of what we're dealing with. So we don't really have a ton of. We've got these fleet troopers, $6.07, $6.61, $9.65, $2.66. dollars 266 So really, they're kind of weak. The money is going to be in the Stormtroopers, the Rebel Troopers, or I should say the, yeah, the Rebel Trooper isn't really going to pull big money. So now we've got two of these sets previously in the past or I, I should say these are two separate past sets made individually in the past so let's take a look at them what we're dealing with we got the imperial dropship the 20th anniversary so this is 1999 it's got a value of 44.95 and then we've got item number 7667 the imperial dropship retail for 9.99 value of 61.77 so both of these have pretty decent growth they're cheap sets i kind of wish we would get more more I, I don't really want to say it. I wish we would get a bigger, more expensive set that includes these. Because just having the vehicles and these few minifigures, I just think it's going to be an, it's going to be a bad investment. But am I going to buy a few just in case? Yeah, I definitely am going to buy a few. So let's take a look at these individually, see what we're working with in the minifigure front. So we've got item number 75262-1. We've got five minifigures. Two of them are exclusive. They've got a value of $42.32. And the whole value of this set is $44.95. So people didn't buy it for the, the vehicle. They bought it for the minifigure. So we got Han Solo, $8.05, which is exclusive. Then we got the Shadow Trooper, which is awesome, $16.66. And that's also exclusive. And then we got the Storm Trooper, $5.85. So that's a fairly bad sign considering no one really bought it for the vehicle. And this is the 20th anniversary that gives it some pop. But let's take a look at item number 7667. We got four minifigures, value of $33.94, one exclusive. And then we got a total value of $61.77. So we got the Shadow Trooper, $10, and then Storm Troopers, $7.98. I honestly wish we got a Shadow Trooper in our set. That would have made it really awesome. Shadow Troopers are cool. So this is a fairly old set. That's probably why it's doing the best. The vehicle is just ugly. Ours is way cooler. I definitely think they did a great job with these vehicles. But I wish they were bigger. I wish we would have got them in a different kind of set. And that Shadow Trooper would have helped. If they would have made an exclusive Shadow Trooper here, that, would, that really would have been the icing on the cake. So let's take a look at the Scout Speeder. See what we're dealing with there. So we've got one Scout Speeder. 
previously, and that's 2008. It's got a value retailed for $9.99. It's got a value of $60.21. So very decent, but it is an old set. So that's really why it's doing the best. It's an it's an okay vehicle. It's nothing special. It's pretty basic. So let's take a look at this in more in depth. See maybe the minifigures. So the box art on this set, I, I really like. That's awesome. It just stands out. They did a great job with that. It's basic, but it works for me. So this set had four minifigures, got a value of $24.28, total value of $60.21, and all we got is the Rebel Scouts for, you know, $6.07, not that great. They're pretty, they're a weak minifigure, but I think this set did so well is simply for its old, because it's old, but it doesn't really look all that much different in our set. It, it kind of does, a little more detail. I mean, don't get me wrong. Our, our version is definitely way cooler, but I don't think that's going to help help it out. I truly do not believe these two vehicles together are going to make it a great investment. So this is probably going to come down to a sale set for me, and I honestly would need to get it for like $25 to $30, and I'll probably only buy it for the exclusive mini, the exclusive droid. Sometimes droids can just do absolutely berserk. Do I think this one is going to go berserk? I doubt it. And this is where I need your thoughts and opinions. Do you think the minifigure is going to go do awesome in retirement? Or do you think it might just be a $10 to $20 droid? So let's take a look at how these sets are doing on eBay right now. So we've got item number 75262. So we got it for $44.95, $35, $35 here, $44, $49, $35, $49, $52, $55, $55 here, $55, $55 here, $44, $49, $35, $49, $52, $41. So not the best, but it's a, it's, it's doing decent. Then we'll take a look at item number 7667. So this person did it smart. They're they're doing the, the complete sets to earn probably a little bit more money. But we got $80 here. That's shocking. 35 opened, $69, 30. 25 opened, $60, less than 65, 70. So kind of all over the place. And then let's take a look at item number 7668. 24.99 opened, 44.99 opened, 79.99 new. Two of them selling for 60. 19.99 open, 47 with nine bids. That's that's a good sign. 79.99. So the exclusive droid, maybe maybe there's something here. So we've got the exclusive droid is the QT KT, and from my understanding, we only kind of have this one in one other set, and that is the Creative Play Droid Builder. And I think this is a horrible, horrible set. I think this is probably, I, I'm, it might end up being the worst Star Wars set of 2024 in this 25th anniversary. Well, let's see how this is doing on eBay. So, okay, looks like some people are doing pre-orders for this and it's already sold for $24.95. I think they're just, I'm, I'm shocked that this works and are they really hurting themselves in the long run? Like, why wouldn't you try and squeeze out a little more? I, I mean, I guess if you try to squeeze out a little more, then it would just be beneficial to buy the whole set. Like who's buying that? I just it just doesn't doesn't make sense to me. So impatient, you know. All right, this is shocking. The the creative play droid builder. This is 169. How is that one selling for that much? But yeah, that's all we got. We pretty much got a pre-order. And then we got some other non-Lego sets, which is I think doing it a pretty decent price. I'm not sure what those should be going for, but I really don't think the droid's gonna do it for this set. And how I think Lego should have done it is I think they should have made both these sets individually and include like a building or a, a much greater scene with more minifigure. I would gladly pay a little bit more to get an awesome set. I think both of these together, or I should say, I think they're individually, I think they're weak. Both of them together doesn't really help each other. So yeah, I think I'm gonna avoid this set. If I do pick one up, I'm definitely gonna buy one just for the minifigure. Maybe, I, or I should say, maybe I'll buy two. One for the minifigure and then one to sell. But do you set, Do you think this? there's something with this set where it's gonna do awesome? Or do you think it's just gonna be a giant clearance set and that's really gonna be the only way that it sells? I think that's the way it's gonna go. I think the 25th anniversary and minifigure are not going to help the set at all. But hey, if I'm wrong, please convince me otherwise. I, I am an open investor. I try to listen to everyone. And if you make a valid argument, you know, I might open up my investing to buy the set. But it's still cool that we did get the set. It's nice to see these kind of remakes after so long. I think this is a fair and acceptable remake compared to other sets. There's enough time between when these sets came out, which 
LEGO really needs to take a look at because it gives time for the investors to sell their sets, earn a profit, and the market just doesn't get flooded and really hurt these sets at all. So yeah, that's my opinion. I'm definitely going to be waiting for it to hit 20, 25 to $30. I think it will. We might even get lucky if we score for like $24. That would be awesome, which I think there might be potential in that. But that might have to be next year, Black Friday. But either way, I want to hear your opinions, so please comment down below. It'll definitely help the channel, help the community. Shout out to everyone that's been commenting, liking the videos. It really helps the channel, and it helps the algorithm. I truly do appreciate you, but as always, please do your own research. Have some fun, make some money. Video is not financial advice. Any statements made are my views and is for entertainment purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice. Do your own research before making any financial investments.